Thank you, thank you. All right, taco truck, cut it. What you, what you do, leave your lingerie up here for me? I'm supposed to smell your panties before I do my set? <laughs> you see what she has? She's a nasty woman. They call Hillary Clinton nasty, but I don't know. Miss Arkansas is right up there. She is right up there. Look at that. Her panties are ripped and everything. She's promoting rape right now, folks. <laughs> She's the new Donald Trump. <laughs> lot going on. Lot going. You guys see in the news, uh, they have like a, a plane or a spaceship. Like the guy that invented Tesla, Leonardo Jacar. You guys heard of him? Everybody's like, yes. That's not even his name. I don't even know his name. <laughs> it sounds like his name. Could be. It's French or something. He invented the battery or whatever. He's building a spaceship to go to Mars and he wants to colonize Mars, right? And only the elite, like trust fund babies and stuff like that are gonna be on this trip because they wanna be the first to colonize Mars. Call them the scientific Adam and Eve. And you know, they wanna be that, they think that in their mind that that's them. They're just fucking, you know, they, they're rich sperm. That's all they are to me. Because they don't fucking give a shit about me, and sperm doesn't give a shit about me. But as soon as it's ejaculated, those fucking sperms are worth money. That's why these mar That's why, like, the presidents and all that shit, if they have to, like, take a shit, they carry it in a bag. Did you know that? So they don't want you getting the, they don't want you getting the president's DNA. Yeah. You'd be surprised what rich people do with their sperm. So anyway, they make kids sometimes, and they're trust fund babies, and they're buying tickets to be Adam and Eve in Mars. Catching everybody up, in case one guy walked in. <laughs> Did you get it? All that? Mm -hmm. So these are gonna be like fucking, you know, $50 million for a ticket, right? And I heard there's a contest where they're, you know, they're gonna let one person win a ticket to Mars to be the first. Like, who wants to win that shit, really? Anybody here? Anybody fucking signing up for that? No? All right. She's part of Anonymous. <laughs> so, hell no, I'm part of the 99%. I ain't with that shit. Try to fly me up to fucking Mars. That's how I think. Like, it's a contest? Come on. But what if you won the contest and everything? You're up there with all these millennials and whoever the fuck, you know? Yeah, you know, whoever wants to go up there, Bernie Sanders was there and shit, drinking a Slurpee and shit on his way, you know. I heard it takes like five years to even get up there or something like that. There's like a baby there, I don't know. You, you don't want to be that woman, right? The woman with the baby. Fucking crying all the way up there. It's fucking 12 years old by the time you get up there and shit. Old enough to beat his ass. <laughs> Been crying all that time, now I can run and hide, motherfucker. I'll beat the shit out of you and go get some moon rocks. <laughs> Throw them at your parents. But what if you got on the? What if you won the contest and you looked around and everybody was fucking ugly on there? Would you get off? No. I would fucking leave. Fuck that. Unless they give me like a fucking pound of meth or something. You're fucking colonizing and shit. Spun out Mars shit. Fucking. Robbing people and shit, because they're all fucking rich. What am I, how the fuck am I gonna survive up there? Might as well bring the early apocalypse. No? Should I keep that one? <laughs> I just wrote down Mars trip, and that's what it developed into. So I look like. I'm 36, 36, my girlfriend's 27, and she's pregnant, folks. My first baby. I didn't do it. Glad for her. She's doing all the work. I just hold the hand and shit while it comes out. That's it. As far as I know, and pay the bills or whatever. Doing this. <laughs> this guy's a comedian. He knows. So we're having a baby, and uh, you know that. All, you know, because I never thought I was going to have a baby because I'm 36, you know, when you're 24, you're like, oh, I better be careful, better pull out every time, you know, when you're 24. 
And then, you know, sometimes within that process of being 30, you know, you do it, you come in, you know, a couple girls, you know, you know, she might be a good mom, who knows? I don't fucking know. She gives a shit, right? She's coming here, this bitch is a fucking pediatric neurosurgeon, might as well fucking come in there, right? <laughs> Am I wrong? Never worked. I even had to try to have a fucking baby with a scumbag when I was on dope. Fucking baseline hooker. Mm. Uh, I'm lying. Those are the lies she was talking about. The fake news. So like, I never thought I was gonna have kids. So I would go to these fucking baby showers my whole fucking life, paying all these fucking people, you know. And I'd make sure to go to the rich people's baby showers, cause you know these motherfuckers want to one up you in your own house and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I went to two of your kids, mother. You better send me a fucking stroller. The kind you could run with, so my girl could you run down the street with the baby and shit. Chances are she'll get hit by a car, but you know, she's gonna be in shape. Take out two of my problems. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's here too, just in case you didn't know, she's here. She wanted to come, so fuck it. <laughs> I said, babe, you're pregnant, you wanna lay down? Titus will fucking drive me, you know? Nope, all right. You know when you're having a kid and shit, you know, you're about to name the baby and shit, when you're going through the baby names, I don't know if anybody's ever had a kid in here, I don't know. But you're thinking about the baby names, you're brainstorming and shit. She's picking out German names and shit, I'm like, what? Adolf, I don't know about that shit. Adolf Gutierrez. Now that's a fucking, you know, the biography right there. The legend of Adolf Gutierrez. <laughs> the fuck's his middle name gonna be? Fucking Trump or something? <laughs> no. But when you start thinking about baby names and shit, you start, you know, she starts naming out names that you don't like. All the fucking people you hate. And you start thinking about names. Do you want to call my kid that bitch who got a restraining order on me? Let me tell you my story before we start. No, <laughs> no we're not naming her fucking, you know, Jennifer. Fucking San Bernardino hooker that I beat. Fuck that, she tried to give me shots, shit. <laughs> and like, now that I know she's pregnant and shit, I gotta wor watch all the words I say and shit because now I'm a father of the beat, you know? In her mind, she's like, I'm having a kid with this guy. So I can feel her when I'm talking, like she's like dissecting every little thing that I say. You can tell it in her face, like all the weird emotions that she's going through, like... Starts rubbing her stomach and shit. Start looking up women's shelters and shit. <laughs> you know what she's thinking in her mind? She's like, my baby's gonna be racist. <laughs> she has to think that. Because I think that, I'm sure. <laughs> Little laid off, how dare you be racist? We need to break the chains of the name, baby. So anyway, the other day I was, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I'm just worried about, like, the biggest fear of mine of, like, having a kid is, like, dying before the kid's five years old and is able to me remember you, you know? That's the only thing a man worries about, ladies. So, you know, just make sure he lives until six years old, you know, give him a year to remember their father. I don't know. Because <laughs> that's what every guy wants. They want a girl that the father died or is in prison forever or something. The kid's under five years old, so they never remember the scumbag. taking kids to visit their parents in prison. <laughs> Sucks. I'm recording this, so Angel, stay your ass out of CDC. 
for the babies. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh shit. So anyway, the other day I was riding to work and uh, I seen a wheelchair on the side of the road, right? It's a fucking wheelchair sitting there. There's no houses around. It's just a stretch of sidewalk with a wheelchair sitting there. It's brand fucking new. And I'm thinking to myself, this shit is worth $300, right? I don't know. My tweaker logic kicks in. It's 300. <laughs> Going high, watch them buy. Going low, watch them go, folks. Sales. But my next thought is like, did somebody kidnap a crippled person? <laughs> Just dragging them away and shit. Get on my shoulders, bitch. But that, my next thought was like, did a fucking guy in a wheelchair just fucking, he's just wheeling down the road and he's just like, fuck it, I'm walking today. <laughs> fuck God. I'm tired of praying to his punk ass. <laughs> just gonna do this shit. It's all walking off good and shit. You know, he's been in there for years. You know, we walking out like, fuck you, God. Never mind. It's a religious group. <laughs> It's not a church, there's fucking beer all around you, Satan's fucking teardrops. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so I have a baby now coming, you guys. 20 weeks. I said 20 months last night. fucking Mexican chick in a Raiders jersey was heckling me about it. <laughs> 20 months. So fuck you, that's what you call your two-year-olds. <laughs> She's like a lesbian too, so. I know she would have fought me in a Raiders jersey. You know. Fuck around with lesbians in Raiders jerseys, folks. We've learned that in the hood. From Long Beach, California. So I was born and raised in California. You know, we're, we live in California, we're like a liberal state, you know, no matter what. Even if you're fucking racist, you have to be liberal. Because you can't openly be racist in California, right? Maybe in Barstow or some shit, but... Not fucking in LA or Long Beach or Riverside, you know. They'll call you mentally insane. And, uh, you know, we're liberal. So when the news came up about um, gender bathroom politics, we were like, fucking who cares, right? Am I right, folks? Am I right? We don't give a fuck about gender bathroom issues, right? We're not backwoods people. You're supposed to clap for that, but never mind. Fuck it. In my mind, you're clapping. Like, I know you're going, you don't want to be quiet and just listen to where I'm going with this, but here we go. We have a rule in California, and you'll be clapping for this one. The rule is, if you can pass, you could come in, right? If you look like a fucking woman, you could come in. Don't fucking go on a meth binge and stay up for fucking five days and let your beard grow out and expect to fucking walk in there and do your filthy drugs in the women's bathroom. That's the rule across the land of California. We don't give a shit. We're not going to say, hey, aren't you a guy going in there? No, we're not. Me personally, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not gonna stop them because I don't care about the men turning into women going into women's restrooms because I'm never in a fucking women's restroom. How the fuck does that affect me? Good, keep them over there, you know? Doing me a fucking favor, if anything. <laughs> I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about the women that turn it into guys, the studs. I'm worried about them coming into my bathroom. That's the only worry I have in California in 2016. Because they're not gonna they're not gonna gracefully come and sit on your piss infested toilet seats of men that they fucking hate. They're not gonna do that, okay? It's inhumane. What they got now is they got these things called a she weed, okay? It's like a funnel you put on your vagina. I'm looking straight in your eyes. You're the only one I feel I have to teach about this shit. <laughs> you're not gonna know about this shit. I don't know if I can, you don't watch those infomercials, you're not that crazy. 
they got a funnel, you put on your vagina and you're supposed to go pee on the side of the road going to Vegas or something, you know, so you don't have to squat down and ruin your fucking little $20 dress you're gonna go suck a $20 cock with. Um, so this new thing, it's a shoe you attach to your vagina, it's a fucking funnel. You can also pump gas with it or whatever, but... So the lesbians are fucking catching on to this shit, and they're fucking, you know, they got in their mind that they're gonna put it in there, and they're gonna come stand at the urinal next to you, sir. And you, don't laugh at him. You're using a women's restroom? Not with that 12 o'clock shadow, sir. I just told you the rules. You're not. It's gonna affect both of you. So these, so these uh, lesbian chicks, I'll just call them that, it's the nicest way I can say it. <laughs> they're gonna come in and they're gonna get the shiwi and they're gonna be staring at the urinal, blowing cigarette smoke in your face, talking about the game you just lost your whole mortgage on. And you're actually thinking about killing your kids because right before Christmas, this lesbian's blowing smoke in your face, screaming at Raiders and shit, and whatever. But you think she's gonna gracefully put this funnel in her pocket after she's done with it? There's pee in it, you guys. That's inhumane. We're Cal I know this word because I live in California. Fucking rednecks would be like, throw them in the fucking hog pit and kill them. Whatever, I don't know. But me, I'm more liberal. So she's gonna go to the sink and she's gonna wash this thing in the sink right next to you and you while you're trying to teach your son how to wash his hands at Chili's. Okay? It's gonna be this fucking pee funnel. If it gets to the point where there's like a strainer for pee funnels on the side of the sink at Disneyland, I'm just gonna start washing my dick in the sink. <laughs> fucking soap and everything. Fuck everybody's kids. I appreciate you guys. You guys have a good night. God bless you. <laughs>